Do you know if adding ghee to a regular meal of dal, roti and sabzi reduces blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I'm having 200 ml arar ki dal with 1 teaspoon of ghee. 150 grams bhindi, same as before. And 4 wheat chapatis with ghee in them, about 125 grams. In total, this should be around 850 calories, including 100 calories from ghee. Let's see what happens. Food is so much better when you add ghee. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 35 mg increase. This is only slightly lower than when I had the exact same meal, but without the additional ghee, because that had increased my blood sugar levels by 38 mg. This is only slightly lower. On the bright side, at least there was a small reduction. Because when I had added 3 teaspoons of ghee to a dal rice sabzi meal in the rice series, it had no impact on the blood sugar spike. The spike without ghee was 36 mg and even after adding ghee, it remained at 36 mg. Fats do help in reducing the glucose spike of any meal. But the impact was minimal in this case because the meal was already well balanced from a fat perspective. Dal already had a ghee ka tadka in it and the way bhindi is made, it already has some oil in it. We are unfortunately off to a slow start because we started at 38 mg and currently we are down to 35 mg. And our goal is to reach 19 mg, which is a 50% reduction. In tomorrow's video, I'm also adding dahi to this meal. Let's hope that has a big impact.